there and welcome to another demo session with me Yanko. Today we'll review one of my favorite integrations between the two of the most renowned systems out there. I'm pretty much sure that many have heard of Azure DevOps and Jira. So we will review on how we can easily integrate these two systems without using any code, of course, just the ZEOPS integration platform. So before I proceed, I would just like to remind you all to follow our official YouTube channel for more integration insights. Also, feel free to visit our website and learn more about Ziggy. So let's start. So let me just firstly provide you with a brief ZigiOps UI overview. The first thing that we see after we sign in the ZigiOps portal is the dashboard. Here we'll be provided with additional information about our accounts, licenses and integrations as well. Also, uh, we will be provided with the self-held uh, status of both the platform and the systems that we will be using for our integrations. Uh, we are also being presented with additional statistics and matrix data that we could check for a certain time frame over a choice, of course. And the first thing for us is to visit the connected system section for us to connect the systems that we would like to integrate. So after we click on add a new system here, we'll be provided with a list with all the systems that are currently available for integration with Ziggy. After we select one of our preferred systems, let's say Azure DevOps, will be provided with a template with all the requirements that the system would need in order for it to connect with Ziggy. After we click on save, and also test our connection. ZigiOps will collect some metadata from both systems, which will include all the available projects, tables and entities the integrations users can see. They'll be collected and will be used for the configuration later on. The same goes for Jira, of course. Afterwards, the next step for us is to visit the configurator section in the UI. For us to choose the integration template which would meet our integration needs. After clicking on add a new integration here, we can choose one of our predefined templates, import or build them from the ground up in order for them to meet precisely your business or integration needs. So after selecting our preferred template, we can go ahead and visit the main configurator page, which will include our systems the data type that we're going to sync, and also the correlation logic that ZigiOps is going to use. So here we'll see system one as a source system and system two as the destination system. After we click on save here, the connection between the two systems will be established. So ZigiOps will be looking for new data in Azure DevOps and will create data in Jira. After the data between these two systems is being transferred, we'll keep both records synchronized with updates in both directions. So uh, in the advanced configurator section or integrated entity section, we can define what is the type of data that we would like to synchronize between the systems. I chose to work with work items in Azure DevOps and report them as tasks in my Jira project. Also have in mind that you'll be provided with a list with all the available tables for both systems, including any additional custom tables, of course. So we would be able to choose how the two systems will correlate with each other by adding our correlation references. For this correlation logic, we store the Azure DevOps work item ID in the dedicated custom field in Jira. So in overall, this is how the two systems will be synchronized after the action has been triggered. So once our main configuration is ready, we could proceed with the action levels here. I would just like to mention that for each integration, we can have as many actions and operations as we need, depending on our use case. In this case, we would need three. The first one will be handling the initial data transfer when creating an entity in the destination system. And the other two below actions will be handling the bidirectional updates. Okay, so I would like to start first with the trigger type of our action. 
the trigger type of our action in this case will be polling. So Ziggy Ops will be sending query requests to the source system in a time frame of our choice. The platform also has the option to listen for any incoming requests. The recommended time interval is one minute. However, for testing purposes, I have set it up for 20 seconds. It's easily configurable and under the control of the user, of course. Next step for us is to review the trigger condition section below. This is the defining logic of the query that ZigiOps is going to run. So, in this case, our default trigger condition looks for records that have been created after our latest record collection. Also, for the Azure DevOps work item creator not to be our dedicated integration user with whom we have connected the system with ZigiOps. If you would like, you could also add additional conditions to filter the systems for the use case more precisely. You just need to simply click on end here. And you can use all the available properties in both systems, depending on which one is the source, of course, to include in your condition. So, last but not least, I would like to show the mapping capabilities of ZigiOps. We can review the mapping of one of our update tasks, since we have more topologies being applied there. So the mapping section defines how the data will be collected from the trigger action and how it's going to be delivered to the destination system. This happens in form of a mapping table with access to the fields of both systems. On the left side we have our destination fields and on the right side we have our value definitions which could be objects from the destination system, hard-coded strings or a combination of both. So, after we have finished configuring our integration in the ZigiOps UI, we can proceed with testing our integration. On the left side, I have our Azure DevOps system and on the right side, our Jira system. I will proceed with creating a brand new work item in Azure DevOps and see how that will affect our Jira project. After providing Ziggy with the trigger time we have selected, we can see how our Azure DevOps work item is being transformed to a task in our Jira project. After we open our Jira task, we can proceed with testing our bidirectional synchronization. And there we go. This was the integration I wanted to show you today. Thank you for watching, wishing you all the best and until next time.